Okay, so in this video, I want to take a look at animating text. So let's get started. So I come over in Flash in Adobe Flash CS6, and this is going to work the same way in CS5 also. But I can come on over, I can grab my T for type. Now, I have two different options. I have my TLF and my classic text. I'm going to work with my TLF text. Now, the reason for this is because we're going to also break our letters apart and animate the letters individually, and the TLF text works the best. So here we go. I've chosen a different font, and you have lots of different choices. I'm going to go for this. Let's see. Let's go for 10,000 reasons. Okay, so again, we can really try a lot of different fonts. Uh, I have my color set at blue, and I am going to write my word and my word is animate. Now, here is my size of it. I can grab my free transform tool, make it a little bit smaller, move it on over, and there it is. Now, what happens in um, Flash is Flash recognizes this as type. So if I want to animate it, I need to convert it to a symbol. Okay, that's really the way that everything goes here. Now, these are some other letters that I have um, from other projects that I was working on. I'm going to throw these ones in the trash. I'm going to start with an empty library. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this little word animate and I'm going to come on up, modify, convert to symbol. And I should name it because what happens is, is when you're working on a really large project, you end up with a lot of different symbols. Symbols in our library of flash, we can use them again and again and again. Now, I'm going to keep this as a movie clip. I'm going to hit OK. And there we have it. Now it is no longer type. I could not come in if I spelled something wrong and changed this around because it does, as you can see, as I come to my properties panel and I click it, um, it is, it's an object now. All right, so now it's an object that we can animate. So I'm going to come on in my first step, come to frame 60. I'm going to insert my frames. I have my frames. I'm going to come on back to here. I'm going to insert my motion tween. And I'm going to start, let's see, how should we start? We'll, we'll start, we'll make it, we'll begin, we'll work with the size. In frame one, it's going to be small, okay? I'm going to come to frame 30. I'm going to click back on this guy right here. Now, if I want something to happen, whenever you want something to happen, I'm going to insert a keyframe right here. So Flash knows, okay, there's something happening here. And I'm going to take my free transform in here and I'm going to make it stretch out, stretch up. Okay. I'm going to come to maybe let's make it bigger. Why not? If I hold down the side shift, if you hold down shift and pull it a corner, you'll get it to move the same way. I'm going to come into frame 50. I'm going to insert another keyframe, insert timeline keyframe. All right, I could grab this now, flip it around, come to frame 60, insert timeline keyframe, and maybe move it out. All right, so let's play it and let's see what happens. Come start at the beginning, and here I can just hit play, and me. Okay, there we have it. There is our first little instance. Now, let's say that I wanted to animate these letters, these letters separately. Well, how would I go about doing that? Well, I could do that very easily. All I want to do is I'm going to click off of here and I'm going to actually create a new layer. So what we want to do with our different motion tweens is really we're going to end up separating um, each tween into its own layer. So I'm going to create a new layer. Um, and if I wanted to, you know, I could come on in, I could start my, I could start my animation right in here, but for right now, I'm going to move this, I'm going to start it right here and then I will, or better yet, I'll, I'll start right here. I might have to move things around in a minute. All right. So let me name this. So I know what is what a big part of working on our projects is to keep ourselves organized, right? And we're going to come on in right into here and I'm going to put break. All right, because we're going to look at how do we have these break apart? Well, when we're in T, when we are in TLF text, let's say that I wanted 
to animate each letter separately. All I would do was click on this. I could um, come on up to modify and hit break apart and now they are all separate drawing objects. They're all separate drawing objects. Now, what I need to do once I break them apart, they're still moving, is I need to then come in and convert each one to a symbol. Okay, so how would I go about doing that? I can see this one back to frame one. I'll have to move it in a minute. All right, so I'd come on up, modify, convert to symbol. Dun, 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 dun. I'll make this the letter K. Click, okay, click off. A, modify, convert to symbol. A, okay, click onto this one. Modify, convert to symbol. I'll make this one the letter A, okay. Click on to my letter R, modify, convert to symbol, R, okay. Come to the letter B, modify, convert to symbol, letter B, okay. Now, how about if I want each one in its own layer? Well, I can do that very easily. I'm gonna click all of these guys, and I can come on up to modify, and I believe it's in, where is it, where is it? But if we control click or right click on the Mac, on the PC, control click on the Mac, right click on the PC, we can come to distribute to layers. Okay, and what I see, what's happened here now, is they all are in their own layers. They're all in their own layers. Now, what if I wanted this, if I, let's, let's take a look for a minute at the order of our animations, okay? Let's say that I wanted, I didn't want B-R-E-A-K to enter until frame 61. Well, very easily, I could just click, click, click these different guys right here, okay? And then I could click and I could drag them. I didn't get all of them. I could drag them, that keyframe, and bring it right to there. And now I can see that they're all there. All right, let me take this one. So again, it's all about where you click and drag. We wanna click onto that keyframe and we can just drag it right to frame 61. And I'm gonna get rid of layer two, don't need that one. I'm gonna delete that. Um, and now what you see happen, see how this one disappeared? The reason why it disappeared is because um, in this frame, it no longer is there. Now, I had it left the stage, so that's actually really fine. Next thing I want to do, and you may already know, um, is I want to insert my frames. Okay, so I'm going to come to, why not, we'll come to frame 120. And again, if I want to insert multiple frames, I can click, click all the way down to the letter K. Up, and I have the animate too. Well, actually, let's see. Again, we need to hold down our shift. So I'll come to insert, timeline, frames. Okay, great, up, oh, missed my K. So I'm gonna click right into here, insert, timeline, frame. Excellent. All right, so now I wanna go about creating my animations. So I click right into here. I'll start with my letter B, insert, motion tween. All right, let's see, let's see if we click. We can come into insert, Motion tween. All right, so now I have motion tweens in all of them. All right, so I can come in right in here. Um, I could click, let's see if we can click multiple keyframes. Nope. All right, so we're going to have to do our keyframes separately. Insert timeline keyframe. All right, so maybe I want to take this. Bring it up into there. Okay, maybe I want to um, have this one come into frame 95, insert timeline keyframe. Oops. Okay, maybe I want to come into frame 100. And I can always tell, I have my motion editor opened right now, but I can always tell where I am uh, what's great about your timeline is you can see what frame is. I'm actually in frame 101. So I can come on up. Insert timeline keyframe. I could even come on in, grab this guy.
Come on up to the letter A. Again, insert timeline keyframe. I think you get the idea. There's lots and lots and lots of possibilities. Lots of possibilities. We could come on up to A. We could come on down right to here. Insert timeline keyframe. We want to grab them again. We'll bring them back down. And then we'll come to K, insert timeline keyframe. And let's do one more and see how it what looks. And then again, we can come on in and work with stuff a little bit more. Insert timeline keyframe. And we could come on in right into here. Again, if I want to rotate things, grab my free transform tool, click on it, move it around. All right, let's start at the beginning, see where we are with everything, and we can hit play. Okay, there we have it. Lots of possibilities. We can come on in, we can even we can work with our color effect, we can work with the positioning, we can add filters. So there's lots of different things that you can do. And I'll end there. Thanks for listening.